Closing remarks. You now have a very solid idea about how to perform the job in, of an altar server. If you haven't already, you can talk to Father and see if you can serve Mass. Although these videos cover most of what you need for serving, they are not perfect. There will undoubtedly be things that the people who made them missed, and they do not cover every unique situation that presents itself in Mass. So, for a few Masses, you will act as what we call a cherub, someone there to observe the Mass before taking an active role. It will allow you to watch the servers at work up close, further learning the dynamic of Mass. Once you feel somewhat confident, you can become a full-fledged server. You probably won't be put at most of the more difficult jobs at first, like setting the altar or bearing the sacumentary. You probably won't want to do that at first anyway. When you feel ready, you can be helped through the job and become an expert. Visiting priests will frequently do things different. It is a good idea to talk to them before Mass and figure out what they want done. Most frequently, they will change the way the book and the bells are done. If you are assigned one of these jobs, it is especially important that you find out what needs to be done. Everyone makes mistakes, from putting the purificator in the wrong place on the altar to ringing the bells at the wrong time to breaking glass. Don't be worried about making mistakes and don't get ashamed after you make them. You're not under scrutiny if you think you are. Altar serving is a rewarding experience and you shouldn't feel bad about it for any reason. Good luck, have fun, and God bless you.